I'm not going to lie, it was third time the charm. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Recently I've acquired TS80 portable soldering iron and it's pretty darn good. So if you're interested in the review, there is a review in here. Click on that and find out if you need that in your workshop. I definitely was missing out. So once I've got this, I decided to take the improvements of my soldering workshop even further. And uh, well, I needed to swap uh, my soldering help. Uh, this is a soldering stand and this is probably the cheapest one you can get. It, it is broken. Uh, and basically the rods in here and the clamps are, are ridiculously bad and uh, I would not recommend this design so pay attention to the ends of this uh, to figure out whether you should get a clamp like that or not but the, the bottom scenario is don't buy this. It was free with something I don't even remember with what probably with my other soldering iron Anyway, the subject of today's video is uh, going to the future because I've actually acquired a new soldering stand and I'd like to present you with the second cheapest stand you can possibly get on the internet. Ta-da! Alright, that uh, piece of futuristic looking tech uh, will set you back about £10. So what is it, $12? Honestly, it's it's actually not that bad. Uh, I've ordered this because I've noticed the clamp design is so much better and this comes with the features, if you can call them the features. By the way, I bought it myself, I don't get paid for praising this, okay? <laughs> so let's take a look of what is so exciting and what is so not exciting about this. First let's talk about the clamps. The clamps are mounted the correct way so actually you won't be able to destroy it as quickly as the other clamps on my cheap stand and uh, the entire mechanism not only uh, moves up and down but also swivels from side to side and there is a small vice that you can use to, I don't know, um, squeeze a, a PCB or something. Uh, the vice doesn't inspire the confidence but it's there so um, I guess it's a bonus. At the bottom there is a metal tray for your either sponge or some screws etc. Uh, at the side you're gonna see the soldering iron stand and at the top there is a crown which is a magnifying glass with an extra zoom bubble uh, to inspect your SMD soldering work and uh, obviously LED ring. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room. Now, if you notice, to actually do some work through the magnifying glass, you have to hunch quite significantly, which means that arm on here, it's too short. Since I don't like the nickname Quasimodo, I decided to come up with a solution. I own a 3D printer, it's Creality and the 3 and if you're interested, it's a very cheap printer and it's actually quite good for stuff like that. So there's a re review in here for you if you're interested and I've come up with this after an evening of iterating on my design. Now actually I didn't come up with this because this is a prototype I've spent about half an hour carving with a knife uh, to make it fit. So after prototype was ready I've designed the second iteration which actually has proper dimensions, fits and it works. So now it's time to assemble it.
and the effect it's simply stunning especially for the second cheapest soldering stunt on the internet there is one problem though I'm gonna have to fix that bloody soldering iron stunt now damn it So if you're interested in either soldering iron or stand on a couple of materials and support me at the same time, just head to the description. As you know, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you follow me on social media listed down below, uh, you'll get instant notification whenever I'm posting a video or an article. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.